Hey, what's up, everybody? Andre, Andre Reese.biz. All right, checking back in with you guys here. Uh, been out of the mix for a minute. Uh, we're 90 days right now into the shelter in place out here in the Bay Area. Man, things are starting to open up right now. And uh, out here in Contra Costa County, I'm telling you, also throughout the Bay Area, throughout California, and also seems like throughout the United States, the numbers right now are starting to surge, guys. You know, so as things start to open up out here right now, they got outdoor dining going on. They got retail. You can actually walk into almost any store now and, you know, purchase stuff. Barbershops are coming later on this week. So, you know, all I can say to you guys is continue to be safe, be diligent, do what you guys got to do to protect yourself, you know, because the virus is not going away. And uh, it's easy at this point right now to have, you know, coronavirus fatigue, you know, but don't catch it. <laughs> You know, stay diligent and stay aware. And so really what I'm here to talk to you guys about is a couple things real quick. Tax season 2020, we're getting close to our uh, deadline here. Tax season was extended till July 15th right now. Today is uh, June 15th. So we got about 30 days left on this extended deadline. You know, so there's a lot of you out there that, you know, kind of fell off the map real quick and didn't get your taxes done. Well, we're coming up on that deadline. At this point right now, 30 days out, <laughs> You almost can be considered to be a procrastinator. Don't wear that badge, you know, reject it and get your taxes done. Always contact me. Information down here is on the bottom for the websites on how to engage. Got the phone number up here on top. We don't have to meet face to face in order to get your taxes done. Most of my clients now at this point have been uh, dropping their stuff off to me or uploading it to the porthole. That way we can have a uh, contact free um, preparation of your taxes. I can definitely take care of that for you guys. Also remember too, um, no, another thing, the PPP money is still available and uh, I have quite a few clients, clients that have been able to get the PPP money. Um, it's still available guys. All you gotta do is have uh, a demonstrated need for having the money for your business and that you've been affected by the coronavirus and you most importantly need to have your 2019 tax return done. I can help you guys with that for sure. And I've heard people are getting funded with the PPP money as soon as uh, 24 hours after getting their uh, beginner application process as long as you have all your documents lined up. I definitely can help you with that. Also, most importantly too, a number of you guys have not filed your taxes for years. Don't continue to slip and fall behind. I can actually help and assist you guys getting together. Um, we can we can get together and, and uh, come up with a game plan to get your prior taxes done and figure out what the problem was and figure out, you know, a payment program if need to be done. But we can also work completely through that. Let me know as soon as you can. Telephone number up on top, also websites on the bottom to find out information on that. So now really the most important thing I've been talking about most of this tax season, and it's even more important now because with the coronavirus and the shutdown of the country, a lot of people right now are out of work. They announced last week that 40 million Americans right, Americans right now are out of work. That's a lot of people. And even to bring things down to a closer scale, in California, there's roughly about 5 million people out of work and somewhere between 26 and 30% of the available to work population. That's a lot of people. And I'll tell you, I was out today and uh, I, was, I was running some errands and um, this is around nine o'clock. I drove by a few BART stations and a lot of people are back to work and we keep, we keep hearing, but I'm telling you the BART stations, which is a good, a good overall indicator of how many people are actually working going to the city or going to the Oakland, they're empty. They didn't have a lot of cars in the parking lot. And I'm telling you guys, I know a lot of people are out of work and this is really an opportunity for you guys to get your, uh, take, take, take responsibility for your own economic empowerment and start your own business as I've always encouraged encourage you to. And most importantly, with starting a bitch business, the thing that you're going to be able to do is take responsibility for yourself. And you want to try to start a business that's going to require the least amount of capital to get started as possible. You don't have to go grand scale and, and to be able to do that. And so, you know, there's a couple uh, videos I'm going to play for you guys here. One of the things I'm suggesting to you guys as far as starting a business, you can actually start a business from, believe it or not, this is the trash can, <laughs> you know, so or you can also get, you can find things in the trash. You can also go around to uh, the, the uh, dumpster farms where they got those in apartments. A lot of people put stuff out that works that are right by the dumpsters. You can also go on Facebook Marketplace and you can find people that are getting, way, getting rid of stuff. There's always people that put stuff by the side of the road that's free. You can grab that stuff, you can clean that stuff up and you guys can turn around and relist it on uh, Amazon, eBay, Facebook Marketplace. You can take that stuff down to the flea market, lay it out in a blanket for next to nothing, and you can begin a resale business. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick a couple videos here. Off to the side here, it's gonna come in. 
that I'm actually out walking around in the treehouse complex here and there's a number of items that I found in the trash can. So check this out, I'll be right back in a second, all right? So here we go. Here's another uh, example of some inventory. Actually, this looks like a garbage can that's all jacked up. I showed you guys before this river, you know. It's all there. I think somebody actually came. Well, it's all still there. You got the uh, grate inside. And of course, you know, these computers. You know, you can break these things down, sell the parts. You can pull certain things out like the CPUs, etc. Batch those things together. They're made out of gold. You can sell them in bulk on eBay. All right, guys, here's another example of uh, over here by the trash area. Check this out. This is a uh, Kenmore vacuum cleaner. Somebody left here. You know, it looks like it might be an older model. You know, so some of these parts might be worth something, but I think it even works because they even left these, uh, you know, vacuum cleaner bags here. So this is definitely another example of how you can find items for free and make a living from a trash. There's uh, some dumpster spot here, you can see. Yeah, so there's a mattress. I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. I'll leave that there. But check this out. They actually have a uh, uh, computer box, uh, one of the tower ones. It looks like it's for a Dell. I might actually come back and grab this one, you know, but stuff like this here, you know, you can take it and sell it on eBay, you know, so let me see if I can find anything just else. Just my uh, workout. I just got my uh, three mile walk in, you know, like I said, I go out usually and check the uh, dumpsters. I actually end up hauling these items back so you can actually find opportunities and I left some stuff behind for you, you know, but I've got the uh, Dell computer case. I got the Febreze uh, vacuum cleaner bags and I also found uh, this Keurig as well. I'm gonna test this one out. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break it up and uh, part it out for sure. So. Good luck to you guys. I left some stuff behind. You know, there's still plenty of stuff at the trash can. All right, guys. So you guys got a, a general sense of what you can do as far as starting a business for almost no money at all, just getting things that people discard. There, there was a, a number of examples there of things that I found just walking around in the, in the complex here that people actually have discarded stuff, you know, next to the dumpsters. Some of those items I've hauled back to the treehouse, and I'm listing them on eBay and I'm gonna get rid of them and I'm gonna get some uh, money. And the most importantly, those items didn't cost me a dime to be able to acquire, or to be able to get. You know, so, and remember, I offer consultations, you know, to help you guys get your business going. It's $195. You know, if you check out the, the link right here on the bottom, it's andrereese.biz forward slash start. That gives you all the information you need to find out how to get your business started and also how to engage with me on helping you guys get your business going. And most importantly, one of the things that I can do that the other business get started gurus can't do is I actually file tax returns. I can help educate you guys on what you guys need to do in order to be able to maximize the tax code to your advantage. And at the same time, do a number of things that will help yourself hit the ground running that way you'll be definitely poised for success. So, you know, Let's recap real quick. Let's get those taxes done. We got less than 30 days to go. We also help you here with uh, delinquent tax returns. If you haven't filed for a number of years, I can definitely help you guys with that. Get your tax returns done and file for that PPP money. They've done a number of extensions now for up to 24 weeks to be able to finally be able to use it. There were some new laws that were just recently passed and signed. You know, and most importantly, get your guys' business started as soon as possible. Reach out to me. It's very simple and very straightforward to do. Take care, guys. I'll check back with you guys real soon. All right, take care. Peace.